hello hello all welcome to my video lectures uh, in this lecture we will discuss about uh, glitching power dissipation uh, glitching power dissipation is happening because of the finite finite delays that are happening uh, within the circuit uh, nodes so uh, if you can read this uh, first uh, first line due to the delays in the gates dynamic power is proportional to number of transitions glitch occurs because the input signals uh, to a particular logic block arrive at different times causing the number of intermediate transitions uh, you can see uh, i'll explain you with the with the example with the help of an example in the, uh, which is in the coming slide mm, because uh, some uh, inputs are coming directly from the preceding stage and some inputs are coming through some logic gates which have their own propagation delay times when some inputs are coming through propag different propagation delay times, uh, the, uh, the happening of uh, uh, inputs at a particular gate are differing from time to time. As new new happenings are uh, taking place, uh, its output is changing. Unnecessarily its output is changing, which should not happen. The change in the unnecessary change in the output definitely cause capacitors to charge and discharge output capacitors to charge and discharge which is called as which this glitching power may involve may have short circuit power as well as switching power dissipation okay i think you understood uh, let us go to that uh, diagram uh, we'll clearly understand where i see here uh, this input c is directly coming to this gate without any delay so c comes quicker because of C, because of C, uh, where uh, C is 101 is the input, 101 is the input, uh, this input is NAR gate, input is high, as the input is high, immediately output drops to 0, output drops to 0. Now, after a delay, after a delay, this AB, uh, O1 is happening, O1 is happening because of this delay. O1 is happening after a little delay. After a little delay, output is going high. Because output is going uh, high, both the inputs are high, 1 and 1. Both the inputs are high, 1 and 1. That is why output O2 is shifting to high. Is shifting to high. And after a delay, after a delay, output is coming back to 0. Now, these transitions, transition 1 and transition 2, both the transitions should not have happened it should have continuously going in zero because of this delay these two transitions took place this what uh, this uh, this will incur this will uh, involve in the power dissipation unnecessary power dissipation see here usually cascaded circuits exhibit the glitching power cascading means output of one circuit is given to in, uh, in given as input to the other circuit and so on so in this circuit if you consider even if you apply the inputs at a particular uh, instant uh, of time the output will definitely have uh, so many unnecessary transitions before it is stabilizing to a particular output so here also this is balanced what happened here the difference between the circuit a and circuit b cascaded circuit and balanced circuit is in cascaded circuit so many transitions may take place whereas in balanced circuit the number of transitions that will take place in the cascaded uh, is, is lower than the previous case so you need to uh, design a circuit such that it is in the balanced condition so that uh, inputs from uh, one wing come at the same time as the so share the uh, number of circuits on both the sides so that we will have less number of uh, transitions okay i hope you understood thank you